alanine amino transferase, also known as ALT. Alanine amino transferase, also known as alanine transaminase, and also known as serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase. As the name indicates, that alanine transaminase ALT is an enzyme. This enzyme is involved in the transamination reaction, like it transfers the amino group. So the transfer of amino group occurs between the glutamate and pyruvate. So that's why this alanine transaminase enzyme, this is also known as serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase, because the transfer of amino group occurs between the glutamate and the pyruvate. This enzyme ALT, alanine amino transferase, is involved in the transfer of amino group. So the amino group from the glutamate, as the glutamate is the amino acid, the amino group from the glutamate will be transferred to the pyruvate, and this pyruvate, after receiving the amino group, it will become alanine. And this glutamate will become alpha ketoglutarate after losing its amino group. So the open structure is shown here. That's how the transfer of amino group occurs. That alanine is an amino acid. Here is the amino group. So there will be the transfer of amino group from the alanine to oxoglutarate, uh, also known as alpha ketoglutarate. Amino group will be transferred to the L structure. Uh, reaction is shown here that ALT can perform the uh, reversible reactions. The alanine and oxoglutarate can be converted into pyruvate and glutamate, and then pyruvate and glutamate can be converted into alanine and oxoglutarate by the transfer of the amino group. Oxoglutar uh, oxoglutarate, also known as alpha ketoglutarate. So, how the transfer of amino groups occur? As you can see, that the pyruvate after receiving the amino group from the glutamate, as this is the glutamate, um, here the amino group is attached. Pyruvate is a keto acid as it contains the carboxyl group and the keto group. This pyruvate, when it will receive the amino group, that the glutamate will transfer its amino group to the pyruvate, then this pyruvate will become the alanine. As you can see here, this pyruvate at the carboxyl, at the keto group, it will receive the amino group, and it will become the alanine. And this glutamate, after transfer of this amino group, after losing its amino group, this glutamate will become oxoglutarate, or also known as alpha ketoglutarate. So as you can see here, there was the amino group and now after transfer of this amino group now it's the keto group is attached so this reaction is a reversible reaction and this reaction is performed by the enzyme alanine transaminase it depends on the need of the body as alanine is an amino acid it will be used in the synthesis of proteins and it will be also used in the metabolic processes of proteins and alpha keto oxoglutarate as in this case is the Alpha ketoglutarate, alpha ketoglutarate is intermediate product of the prep cycle and will be involved in the production of the energy. And pyruvate, as pyruvate uh, will be used um, in the synthesis of the glucose and can also be used in the synthesis of the fatty acid. And glutamate is also an amino acid. It can be used in the synthesis of proteins or it can be used in the synthesis of other amino acids and it can also be used in the metabolism of proteins and uh, it will also be involved in the extraction of the amino acid in the form of urea. So this whole reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme alanine transaminase that there will be the formation of alanine uh, by transamination reaction and there can be the formation of glutamate through transamination reactions that there is the transfer of amino uh, group. Uh, this reaction is also the example of the group transfer that the amino group is transferred from one molecule to the other molecule and then one becomes the keto acid and the other becomes the amino acid. So this was about the function of the ALT and or you can say SGPT that how it causes the transamination reactions. Now this ALT uh, enzyme where it is most specifically present, it is present in throughout the body in mostly it is widely distributed in other parts of the body. Uh, in the other cells, but more specifically, in, it is present inside the liver. And the more amount, the higher amount of this enzyme or this enzyme is specific and uh, for the liver cells. It is present in the livers inside the liver, as liver is made up of liver cells, also known as copper cells. So liver cells make up uh, this liver. So liver cells are also known as hepatocytes or also known as 
professor. So ALT perform their transamination reactions are present inside the more specifically it also present inside the other organs in, uh, in the other cells of the body, but most commonly and more specific in the largest amount it is present inside the liver cells also known as hepatocytes. And then inside the liver cells it is more specifically present inside the cytoplasm. As there are other liver enzymes, uh, they are cytosolic and non-cytosolic. But the uh, ELT, alanine transaminase, is present inside the cytoplasm of the hepatocytes and perform their uh, um, specific reactions and perform their specific functions. So this ELT is present inside the liver cells in normal conditions, in normal circumstances. Uh, it's present inside the liver cells and inside the plasma. And this specific very minute amount of ELT is present inside the plasma, inside the blood, uh, but in very specific range in very limited amount but whenever there is injury to the liver cells uh, there is necrosis or there is any damage or there is any viral hepatitis or any disease or any damage to the liver cells then what will happen this ALT is released into the and then this liver cells rupture and these ALT this, these enzymes are released into the blood then besides this normal specific range the ALT level is high appears high inside the blood then this is it is the indication that the increased level of ALT inside the blood is the indication of the liver injury. It indicates that there is the liver damage or the liver injury. That's why the ALT level is elevated inside the blood. Otherwise, in normal circumstances, in normal situations, the ALT does not appear inside the blood. But inside the blood, it appears in very little amount, in very little specific quantity, in very specific limited amount. But if there is level is elevated in case of any liver damage or in case of any liver injury, there it, it, it released from the cells and appear inside the blood. And in that case, their levels will be elevated inside the blood. So the normal uh, ALT level that is detected inside the blood that will be used as a reference to detect the uh, that either the liver cells are normal or there is any infection or damage to the liver cells. Normally, the ALT, this alanine transaminase enzyme, are more specifically present inside the liver cells. It does not appear inside the blood, but very minute amount that is 10 to 40 uh, international units per liter. Uh, this is the normal amount, normal uh, specific amount that appears inside the blood. It's the normal amount, it's normal indicated, my, very minute amount. But mostly, it is present inside the liver cells. So this ALT level, this normal range is used to detect the, is used as a marker and used for the prognosis of the liver diseases, that it will detect that uh, either the liver is damaged or there is an infection to the liver. So it will be used as a prognostic marker for the diagnosis of the different liver diseases. And its level, if exceeds then this normal level, it will also be uh, used to uh, evaluate the severity of the diseases and this ALT level will also be, can also be used to monitor the treatment that to check the effect of the drugs to during the treatment to check the effects of the medicines that either they are working or not and by detecting these value this level it will monitor the treatment so ALT level is mo mostly occurs um, this ALT present in the plasma in the normal range of 10 to 40 but their elevated level appears uh, is the indication is used for the prognosis of different diseases that if this ALT level is elevated above the normal that it is above the 40 then it will be the indication for the different diseases which diseases it indicates for the liver diseases like viral hepatitis or toxic hepatitis it appears in the jointless or it can be used for the detection of the cirrhosis of liver in liver diseases how you can detect by the ALT that the liver diseases like hepatitis is present, that the ALT level will appear more than the normal. It will appear approximately 30 to 50 times more than the normal limit of the ALT, which will be almost uh, 500 to 1500 international units per liter that will come in this range, that it will be 30 to 50, more than, um, more than 30 to 50 above the normal level. In case of alcoholic hepatitis, the value can appear between the 100 to 300 international units per liter. 
It can also be used for the prognosis of the joint disc. That between the, it can differentiate between the two types of joint disc. That is the obstructive joint disc and hemolytic joint disc. For the obstructive joint disc, the ALT level can occur between the 200 to 300 international uh, unit per liter. And for hemolytic joint disc, this ALT level may appear normal. So that's how by detecting this ALT level, you can differentiate between the uh, you can uh, confirm the diagnosis for the joint disc that either it is obstructive joint disc or it is hemolytic joint disc because in case of hemolytic joint disc the value will appear normal and in case of obstructive joint disc the value will appear between 200 to 300 international unit per liter. And in case of cirrhosis of liver the values of ALT can occur between 50 to 100 international per, uh, unit per liter. So this is all about the ALT as ALT, alanine transamine, uh, transaminase, is, an, is, a specific, is a liver specific enzyme uh, that it performs the function of uh, uh, transamination reactions that it transports the amino group from one molecule to the other molecule. And how, um, what is the significance, what is the clinically diagnostic significance of this ALT? That it can be used to assess uh, uh, the different uh, liver diseases and it can be used to, for the um, severity indicates, uh, it can be used to evaluate the severity of the diseases and can be used to monitor the treatment to check the effects of the drugs and medicines. 